Eleanor Whitman, an assistant district attorney from Manhattan, and Louis Salinger, an Interpol detective, are tasked with looking into the International Bank of Business and Credit, IBBC, which provides funding for illegal activities like money laundering, terrorism, arms trafficking, and government destabilization. As a result of Salinger and Whitman's inquiry, they travel to Milan, where Umberto Calvini, an armaments producer and potential Italian prime minister, is killed by the IBBC. The assassin shifts the focus of suspicion on a local assassin who has political ties to the Red Brigades. This assassin is later assassinated by an untrustworthy police officer. After obtaining information on the second assassin, Salinger and Whitman are confronted by a police officer who gives them the order to leave the nation. They can track a suspect to New York City and examine security camera footage at the airport for information on the assassin of the bank's whereabouts. Iggy Ornelas and Bernie Ward, two detectives with the New York Police Department, NYPD, greet Salinger and Whitman upon their arrival in the city. Ward has a picture of the assassin's face. Finding Dr. Isaacson, whose office the assassin's leg brace has been linked to, Salinger, Ornelas, and Ward are able to follow him to the Solomon R. Guggenheim Museum. IBBC Chairman Jonas Scarson tells White, his attorney, and Wexler, his security advisor, that Calvini was assassinated so that his sons could purchase missile guidance systems in which the bank has invested. The bank sends a group of hitmen to assassinate Whitman since they believe Salinger and Whitman are close to identifying their killer, while Ornelas arrests Wexler in the meantime. A shootout breaks out at the Guggenheim as several gunmen attack Salinger and Ward while they converse with the assassin and make an attempt to apprehend him. After Ward is slain in the confusion, Salinger must work with the assassin to repel the gunmen. However, the assassin suffers a fatal wound during their escape and passes away as a result of it. Wexler, a seasoned Stasi officer, tells Salinger that the IBBC is virtually untouchable because of its ties to governments, drug cartels, terrorist groups, and large corporations, but he also says he would be willing to assist Salinger in taking down the IBBC. Salinger convinces Whitman to let him carry on by himself in the interim. When Salinger informs the Calvini family's sons in Italy that the IBBC is accountable for their father's death, they decide to back out of the bank agreement and give the order to have White killed. After that, Salinger goes with Wexler to Istanbul, where Scarson purchases the navigation systems from Ahmet Suni, their loan manufacturer. Salinger eventually fails in his attempt to record the talk in order to block the sale by convincing the purchasers that the missiles are pointless. A hitman hired by the Calvinis then murders both Wexler and Scarson in order to exact revenge for the death of their father. Salinger is left in disbelief since his research, chase, and resolve to topple the IBBC were fruitless. As he had foretold to Salinger prior to his death, Scarson then dies, but the bank manages to carry on with its activities. But with a new and more assertive chairman, the IBBC's rapid growth and assertiveness finally draw more attention, which prompts a U.S. Senate investigation led by Whitman.